All right, so we're going to be dividing numbers in scientific notation. Right? And um, kind of a, a piece of background math that might help you kind of understand how or why this uh, strategy works is you might want to be able to think about um, right, when we have um, other division. So let's say we have um, a number and it's like 125 and we're going to divide this by um, five. Uh, divided by 25. So you guys know that we could divide like this by five and this by five, right? We, we could simplify it um, by dividing both the top and the bottom by the same number. Really? So what, what really, what we're really actually doing here when we simplify a number this way, right, is we are thinking of 125 over 25 as, right, kind of two um, factors. So this is uh, 25 times 5, and 25 is the same thing as 5 times 5, right? And so then what we can do is really is we can separate these two pieces. We can say that, you know, these are going to cancel out because they're both 5s, but we could rewrite this as 25 over 5 times five over five and five over five just becomes one, right? They cancel out. And so what you're left with is just um, 25 over five. And then you can divide those two numbers and find out that that equals five, right? So you can factor out that five and then just divide the remaining values. So, you know, that's what we're gonna do when we look at uh, scientific numbers and scientific notation. It's the same idea but the numbers just look a little bit different and they're a little bit larger. So let's start off with a number like eight times 10 to the sixth over two times 10 to the fourth, right? So this is how it's going to look, you know, when it's just um, already in a problem form. However, if you're reading a word problem or something like that, you might have to think to yourself, hey, is this a problem I'm going to need to divide to solve? And then you would set it up this way. All right. But basically what we can do is just like we did before is we can break these two pieces apart. So we can rewrite it so that we have eight divided by two times and then we can take our powers of 10, right, and keep them separate. So we're going to have 10 to the 6th over 10 to the 4th. And then all we have to remember are our exponent rules for dividing and some regular division. So, right, 8 divided by 2 is just 4. We, we're going to keep this multiplication sign because we want to keep it in scientific notation. And then because these have the same base, right, they are exponents, uh, exponential expressions with the same base, then the rule here is that we are going to subtract these exponents, right? So if I were to, I'm going to skip like a, not skip a step, I'm going to write a little in-between step. So 10 to the, and we're going to subtract those exponents. And so what we are left with is 10 to the second. And that would be our answer in scientific notation. So just like yesterday, sometimes what's going to happen is you're going to end up with a number over here that is not in scientific notation. So when that happens, then we are going to have to adjust that number. So um, I'm going to show you an example of that next. So let's say our answer, let's say we get to the end and our answer is 0.25 times 10 to the fifth. All right, so this is the answer we have. So yesterday, and that's more likely to get a number that's less than one when you are doing division um, because um, you're already starting with numbers. You're going to start with numbers that are between one and 10. So you shouldn't end up with a number that is more than one because, you know, 